Okay, we have another PSA submission. 14 cards on the first submission, one card on the second. First submission is going to be the NFL special. So we're going to start off from the earliest, oldest cards up to the modern. A lot of Topps Chrome Finest, the huge rookie card of Rodney Harrison on the finest. I have this hitting in 9 or 10, preferably favoring the 9 side on this card. Thought it was pretty clean. I did rip off the heat coating. Let me know if you're team coating or no coating. And uh, I like to be able to see the card instead of some weird writing across the design. So, first one there. Another 97 finest Hall of Famer Steve Atwater on the emboss. I have this toss it between 9 or 10. It's a little questionable. I'm not quite sure if the card is faded or if the picture actually just is low quality with kind of that faded <laughs> white sunny day but uh, these embossed there's basically like an imprint you can kind of see it on the front design and uh, that's you get that little parallel almost like an x-fractor look to it so we'll see how that one checks out another hall of famer all-time rushing leader emmett smith 9 to 10, favoring the 10 side. This is the choice reserve. So you can see that kind of etched into the design. You don't see these pop up too often. I got this at a local card show. Kind of a throwing card, but um, possibly well enough to gem. So we'll see how this one checks out. All right. This card was in a recent reveal. I am going to bite the bullet and submit it again. I have it hitting a solid 7 on the 98 Legacy Collection. These are numbered out of 100. This is row 2, as you can see here. So it felt legit, and it seems to be... I mean, the, the, there's it's indented with the stamping. Um, I'm not quite sure why the grader questioned the authenticity, but uh, we'll run it back again. We'll see what comes up on on that card hopefully uh they feel the same as me still another local card show pickup rookie card peyton manning solid nine on this um at first it looked really clean but i can't remember i graded this a while ago on why i'm i'm saying the nine but uh, centering looked great actually as you can see on the bordering there must have been surface level something on the surface to uh, warrant the, the lower grade, obviously. So we'll see how that rolls. 2007, <laughs> yeah, we're jumping all the way up to 2007 from 98. So blue refractor, nine or 10, favoring the nine side on the LT with Danian Tomlinson, big time player during the time. So hard card to grade with all that green and dark on the back, as you can see. Edge wear can show up real easy on this card. So we'll see how that guy checks out. What I am excited to get back in into the set registry. I have his blue and a nine. I am going to be starting the rainbow run. Um, I just recently did disgrade this. So the, the front was phenomenal. I mean, that front, front is a little to the right. But other than that, there was no surface scratches. There was nothing wrong with this card on the front level. The back is where it's going to get hit, I felt like. I think down here on the bottom, there was a little bit of either dimples or edge wear. Um, that's what I have my note as, but now I'm, as I'm looking at it. It doesn't look too bad. I had it as the bo bottom right, but uh, you can see that corner is a little soft up there so excited regardless to get this back in hand they're hard to find they don't come up too often even though there's a high numbering um, just to get started on the set registry for that card all right we're gonna have a little run of three 2008 gold refractors these are numbered out of 199 dallas clark a big time name during the time 
kind of Peyton Manning's little uh, pocket knife check down, <laughs> um, helping him through obviously his career during this time. But as many, of course, many others that were on the team. But um, yeah, nine or ten on that. Again, another nine or ten. These all came out of uncirculated cases, so literally just popped them out of the factory. Again, there's be, could be issues with them, but uh, nine or ten on the Heath Miller, kind of a color matching, even though they're wearing the old school unis with those bright, funny banana helmets. So uh, it doesn't exactly tie into the matching, but regardless, it has potential gems. So we'll get it out the door. And this card, I've graded this card before. I've hit it in the gem. Now that I'm seeing it, it's a little off center to the right. I have it favoring the 10 side. There was no scratches or anything. Everything you see there is on the either card saver or normally they're brand new sleeves, which I use. So not quite sure what that has to be the card saver. Um, I would have caught something like that. I can see it right now. It's definitely not on the card, even though you probably can't. But uh, again, hopefully this checks out with one of those two grades. Patrick Willis on the gold finest refractor. Solid eight on this card. Uh, must have been surface normally. As you can see, there's a lot of black dark on here. So edging down on that corner is going to be rough pretty much everywhere. So um, obviously there was possibly some imprints I'm trying to see the surface through the phone, but um, definitely something to warrant the eight on the surface level with this guy. BJ Raji, kind of a throw in rookie card, blue refractor, nine or 10 favoring the nine side was just another local cheap pickup within a lot at a card show. So I uh, figured it was worthy enough possibly to run the, the gauntlet. Again, same card show pickup, solid nine. This is just kind of the base, even though it's like a prism finish in a sense. As you can see with the reflection there, no numbering on these, obviously. So a uh, rookie year of George Kittle. My guy, I do not have that card. So it's kind of a first time try, even though I'm obviously not sold on it. Jamming out, we'll see what comes out. So again, the last card. Uh, well, last card for the first order of all football special. 9 to 10 on this. Again, same card show. This is the red refractor. This is numbered out of 125. And uh, I thought the card just looked presentable within that parallel. So uh, the reason why we have two submissions is because of this card. And this one not warrants... <laughs> The value threshold for this card would be $1,500 is what I'm expecting. So I have it hitting an 8, auto 10. And this was pre-graded crack out from CSGC at an 8.5. So um, edges, it was a surface that, that really killed this thing. Um, everything else was, was pretty solid. Centering's good edges corners like it says so uh, yeah surface there's scratches mind you you can't really maybe see them within the card saver um, which helps it out a little bit so uh, i will be getting the auto graded so it's going to be going at a, at a july one time piece special a little bit of a discount based on what the normal pricing is for that card so uh, there you have it Another PSA submission, a couple submissions going out the door. Look forward to the return and grades of those guys coming back, hopefully, relatively soon. Thank you for watching if you made it this far, as always, and you all have a good one. Take care.